I'm Arvada Mayor Mark Williams. It's a new look for Arvada Libraries. Let's check it out on Arvada Insights. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm here today with Pam Nissler, who's the Executive Director of the Jefferson County Public Library. We're here in Old Town, Arvada. Thanks for having us here. Oh, I'm delighted that you are here. Thank you. Pam, I know a lot of work went into the development of this Arvada Library. What makes it so unique and special? Well, to start off with, it's our, our newest library, so it has many of the concepts that uh, are more forward thinking. We have 10 different libraries. This is the only one that has a second story. It's also an urban library situated in Old Town, Arvada, so we have partnerships with the local community. You know, Pam, when the decision was made to move the library from its place where it was down the street into Old Town, Arvada, we knew that it would be a huge magnet for the community. It certainly has turned out that way, hasn't it? It certainly has. There's over 10,000 people a week who come in here, and some of them use our wireless out on the plaza as well. That's absolutely wonderful. Speaking of wireless, you've developed a new website. What's so special about that? We have. We launched it April 3rd. It is a 24-7 access to the library. It's one of our branches. It is much more interactive and dynamic. It allows for easier updating so it's more current. It encourages patrons to use it intuitively, less clicks to get to where they want to go. If you use the analogy of a newspaper, it's above the fold. So this is very helpful for the people who use us. And we over, have over 6.2 million visits a year. That's that great. Site. That's great. We have some more information about this new exciting project. Let's take a look. We are launching JeffCoLibrary.org, our new, entirely new online experience for our library patrons. Websites have evolved um, over the past several years, and so um, we have needed to evolve with that. And so some of it is content. There's active blogging from our librarians. Um, there are ways for people to comment and talk to each other now. We've designed a website that we think is extremely usable and has the content and features that people want, expect from, a, from a, a modern library system in the information age in which we live. That looks absolutely great. Pam, how do people find that website? They go to jeffcolibrary.org. That's great. Pam, I think you know, and, and certainly I preach it all the time, partnerships. Talk a little bit about the terrific partnership we have between the city of Arvada and Jefferson County Public Libraries. It is exciting. We've, we've been able to uh, have events here <clears throat> in the town center. Uh, there is a partnership with the Old Town Arvada Association, and they meet here. Um, we try to do, we try to support their efforts however we can. We also have partnered with the food bank here in Arvada to um, do story times and to teach parents about early learning so that they can give their children a good start. We are always looking for partnerships within the Arvada community. Pam, as you know, I was on the county library board for 10 years before I was elected to council 13 years ago now. Back in the dark ages, you know, we had a different bookmobile than we have now. Tell us about the new one. We do. Our new one is a green bookmobile, so that's one of the functional pieces of it. We use it for a specific purpose as well. We take it to senior centers where people cannot get to the library, assisted living, uh, centers. That's terrific that you can provide that service. We're very happy. Another big change is technology that's happened since the dark ages. Definitely. The internet is just dynamic. We have uh, vigorous high-speed internet, that uh, broadband access, so that people can use the library either with their laptops or with our computers as you see here. They also can use the um, internet out in the plaza outside the library. We teach classes for people who are not as familiar with uh, using computers. And uh, we also have access to downloadable materials, digital books, from our website. So, and we teach people how to do that as well, and uh, sometimes offer uh, pe tech petting zoos so that people can see the different devices that are being developed. That's another neat service that you provide. What are some of the other services being offered here in Arvada by the library? 
Well, we have Summer Reading Club, which is an important service to keep children reading over the summer so they don't lose their skills. We offer tax help. Uh, we also have movies and programs for children, adults, and teens. And we have a special partnership with the Boulder Museum of Contemporary Art. And if people want to learn more about all this, where do they go? They go to jeffcolibrary.org, and they will see the entire list of all of our programming. Pam, thank you so much for sharing information and sharing your time about our Vata Library. It's been a pleasure. Libraries hold a very close place in my heart. I think it's time to curl up with a good ebook. I'm Arvada Mayor Mark Williams. Thanks for joining us on Arvada Insights, and that's a wrap.